The video rental industry was hugely profitable and popular in the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s. However, it's gone now. Here's the story of the disruption of blockbuster video, how a giant fell, taking its industry with it. Blockbuster was founded in 1985 and grew exponentially over the next decade and a half. In 2000, the company brought in almost $800 million in late fees. This huge source of revenue, however, would lead to its undoing. Frustrated by Blockbuster's late fees, Reed Hastings would go on to start his own company in 1997 called Netflix. The company started mailing out DVDs before the turn of the century. Despite offering the company multiple times to Blockbuster, the company declined, but Blockbuster started its own DVD mailing service in 2004. Netflix noticed and successfully sued the company for copyright infringement and received $4.1 million in damages. Blockbuster lost all of its momentum. The company went from leading the charge to desperately trying to survive. The creative destruction had gotten the best of Blockbuster, and the company declared bankruptcy in 2010. Netflix and the disruption of streaming destroyed the video rental service. The only remnants of the industry today are $1 one-day DVD rentals in vending machines such as Redbox. In our next video, we will go further in depth in the rise of streaming and the disruption that continued. Stay tuned.